Scott Barney and his team performing the final steps in the countdown procedure. You'll hear the team confirm the securing of Atlas liquid oxygen topping, followed by the call to transfer the Atlas and Centaur stages from ground facility power to internal battery power. At T minus 1 minute 55 seconds, the team will command the launch sequencer to start, followed shortly by securing the Centaur liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen topping activity. At T minus 1 minute 40 seconds, the team will command the flight control system to launch enable and arm the flight termination system. In the final minute, the Atlas tanks will be verified at flight pressures, followed by verification of the Centaur tank pressures. And a final status check of Atlas, Centaur, and Cygnus readiness will be conducted at T minus 25 seconds. Just seconds before liftoff, the RD 180 engine ignites, performs a health check, followed by ignition and liftoff. After liftoff, you'll be hearing the voice of Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. One, mark. And we're T minus, T -minus four, minutes, four and minutes and counting. 355. That pilot was enabled. All systems are go. T minus three minutes, 35 seconds and counting. Standing by to secure liquid oxygen topping. T minus three minutes and counting. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Flight termination system has been transferred to internal. We'll be standing by for the transfer of Atlas power to internal at T minus two minutes, followed immediately afterward by the transfer of Centaur power to internal. T minus two minutes. Vehicle internal. Launch sequencer start. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur lock. 140. Launch enabled. 137. T minus one minute, 35 seconds in counting. Armed. Everything going by the timeline. One twenty. Centaur. FCS count started. Vent Force valves to be locked in the launch position at T minus one, one minute ten seconds. Vent valves locked. Sixty seconds. Rock, report range status. Range green. Everything is go. T minus 48 seconds and counting. Forty. Stable at step three. Atlas tank stable at step three. T minus 30 seconds and counting. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go OA4. 20. T 
T-minus 15 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off on the shoulders of Atlas. The SS Deke Slayton II orbital ATK Cygnus spacecraft soars toward the International Space Station. The U.S. gun close to control. HR roll from gun monitor, it's good. Listening to Marty Malinowski. 180 pump speeds and your pressures are banned for Senate Mark. Monitorings continue to look out. Two seconds into flight. New range climbing somewhat, it's controlling well. Already 180. Pump speeds and jerking pressures all look good. I'm flying the zero angle attack phase of flight. HR roll park is now complete. Body range controlling right down the middle. Currently accelerating at 1.6 G's. Standing by to pass through Mach 1. Mach 1. And approaching maximum Vehicle dynamic pressure. Continue to look good. Maximum dynamic pressure. Booster has now throttled back right on schedule. Engine response looks good. Current altitude is and a half miles, downrange distance 5.2 miles, current velocity 1,876 miles per hour. Range track shows the vehicle making good progress right down the middle of the range. Bump speeds, injector pressures look good for the set throttle setting. Body rates continue to look good. Two minutes, 10 seconds into flight. Marty Malinowski giving us updates as the Atlas flies uphill toward the International Close Space Station. Stern has been enabled. Body rates continue to look very good. Q off limited stern has begun. The vehicle is now less than one half its liftoff weight. The RCS pyro valve has been fired. That system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 28 miles, downrange distance 38 miles, current velocity 4,285 miles per hour. Coming up on our 3.5G throttle segment. Three minutes into flight. And the booster has begun to throttle, 3.5Gs. Q off on that stern is complete. About 45 seconds away from booster engine cutoff. Followed about six seconds later by the center Our second stage now separation. One quarter, it's lift up. Coming up on our boost phase cooldown phase. And boost phase cooldown has begun. Signatures look good so far. Still throttling to maintain three and a half G's. Boost phase cooldown is complete. And we have engine shutdown. Engine shutdown as planned. We have retros and stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. G and two purge firing of the RCS is underway. And we have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. The Centaur single RL-10C engine has ignited to begin about a 13 and a half minute burn. 
that will take Cygnus.